Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we will talk about the Kurdish city that would become the Kurdish capital in Greater Kurdistan. Before getting into the video, consider donating to our PayPal account. All the donation goes strictly to our survival both in managing the website, advertising the channel and sending donation to different charity organizations. After the previous video, we gathered in $65 and you can now vote on which charity organization we should send our next donation to. Check out the options by clicking on our channel and check out the community button. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. So, for this video, everything about Kurdistan is nominating three cities that we believe could become the Kurdish capital city. Those are Hawler, Ahmed and Kermanshah. Let's start with the basics of Hawler. Hawler is a city located in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan, about 200 kilometers from Slemani. The city is internationally known as Erbil and has around 2 million inhabitants in and around the city itself. Hawler is the capital of KRG, the ruling government of southern Kurdistan and the city has since the liberation of Saddam Hussein in 2003 evolved into a quite modern city and is without doubt a center of international presence in the Middle East. The city holds the record for being the oldest existing settlement with people still living in it. Hawler has actually been working as a lifeful city since 3000 BC, at least its city center which also is called Erbil Citadel. Today Hawler is the center of the Peshmerga forces. The city where the Southern Kurdistan president lives and where the KRG parliament is located. Ahmed is a city located in Turkish occupied Kurdistan around 880 kilometers from Ankara. The city is internationally known as Diyarbakir and has around 2.6 million inhabitants in and around the city. The city is based on area Kurdistan's largest city. Ahmed is unofficially known as Turkish occupied Kurdistan's capital city even though this can't be publicly expressed due to Turkish politics. Just like Hawler, Ahmed is an old city who with its fortress made a strong name in the Roman Empire. The fortress wall has the widest and longest complete walls in the world after the Great Walls of China. Kermanshan is a city located in Iranian-occupied Kurdistan, around 500 kilometers from Tehran. The city is a cultural and historical centrum for all of Kurdistan, with a mix of different ethnicities, historical monuments and sightseeing. The city's name in Kurdish is Kermanshan, but the previous Iranian Shah named it Kerman Shah and after the revolution in 1979 it was renamed several times to remove the unpopular Shah term from the name. However, the official name was shortly after renamed to Kerman Shah again. Now, the question still remains, which city would become Greater Kurdistan's capital city? Let's take a look at South Africa. We believe that Greater Kurdistan would follow the same example. South Africa has three capital cities. One judicial, one executive and one legislative. So if Kurdistan were to be independent, we believe that Kurdistan would choose two capital city. The first one would be Hawler. This capital would be Kurdistan's judicial capital city, since it already has the Kurdish parliament built in it and the president's residence. 
the city is already formed to be a capital to a smaller autonomous region and would be ready to take on being a capital for a whole new country. The second capital, which would be the capital of Kurdistan due to its population, its symbolic meaning and its great size, would be Ahmed. The city wouldn't have any administrative function, but would still be the capital due to the fact that it is the largest Kurdish city. The city would also evolve into becoming a great center for the guerrilla forces of Kurdistan who eventually would unite with the Peshmerga of KRG and build a Kurdistan military center in Ahmed. What the new Kurdish military would be named is nothing anyone can know and perhaps it can be a topic for another video. To summarize, the Greater Kurdistan would have two capital cities. Ahmed and Hawler. However, unofficially, Kurdistan would have a third capital too. Even though Ahmed and Hawler will be the two official capital cities, the third capital city would in that case be Kermanshan, who probably would become Kurdistan's largest tourist center. This cultural and historical important city would due to a lot of points be an extremely vital and important city for the Kurds. And because of this reason, the city would become the third unofficial capital city of Kurdistan. Remember that this is only our expectation and guess of what will happen and is not based on any sort of official fact. If you don't agree, share your opinion in the comment section below and also hit the like button and share this video.